Ready to learn how to make some cotton candy? Click on play and join the fun with Lily and Kira. Don't eat that, Lily. Did you really think cotton candy is made of actual cotton and sugar? No, girls. That's not how you make it. I'll show you. We need sugar, which we've got here already. Some sticks to hold the cotton candy while we eat it. Some food coloring so our cotton candy has different colors. Some empty cups to mix the sugar with the food coloring. Last but not least, the most important thing, a cotton candy machine. <laughs> Let's go for it. First, we'll need to prepare the mix of sugar and coloring. So we need to pour some sugar in each of the cups. And then add, slowly, the different colors. Pink. Yellow. Blue. Orange. Purple. And green! Let's give it a go. Lily, you'll be in charge of the sugar. I'll get the cotton candy with this stick. And Kira, you'll be the one tasting the result. <laughs> we need to use as many colors as possible. That's it, Lily. Good job. And now we need to get the stick closer to the machine's end and spin it. This way, the cotton candy will slowly stick to itself. We've done our first one. Try it, Kira. <laughs> I think it's really yummy. Oops, she ate it all. <laughs> Don't be angry, girls. We can make as much cotton candy as we want. And with different colors. We can make a yellow one. And for example, we can add blue as well. That way, we'll get a two-color cotton candy. It's Lily's turn now. Oh, and leave some for me as well. That's all right. We'll make some multicolor huge cotton candy. <laughs> That's it, Lily. We need to use as many colors as possible. That way, we will not only make enough for three of us, but we'll also be making our first huge rainbow cotton candy. <laughs> wow, it's amazing. It looks great. A piece for Kira, another piece for Lily, and another one for me. It's delicious. Now that I think of it, we haven't cooked in a while, have we? Well, what do you say we prepare some dessert? Great! Let's see what's on our wheel today! There are biscuits, waffles, ice cream and cupcakes! I wonder which we'll get? What about you guys? What kind of dessert would you like to prepare? Mmm, it's landed on cupcakes! Yay! We'll get to decorate them! Let's see what we come up with! Well done! You've already dressed up as pastry chefs! <laughs> Great! Let's get started because I think the cupcakes are ready! First off, let's turn off the oven. And now we take out the cupcakes with an oven mitt so as not to burn ourselves. Here we go! Let's do your cupcake first, Lily! How would you like to decorate it? Think of a cartoon or a character's face. A unicorn! <laughs> That's so original, Lily! Well, let's see how we can go about it. Let's begin with a white base. We'll use the whipped cream piping bag for that. Okay, now we'll use the strawberry piping bag for the mane. And for the eyes, we'll use these little chocolate balls. Doesn't it look good? And now this wafer cone tip will be perfect for the horn! Ta-da! A unicorn cupcake! How easy was that, huh? Come on, 
Alex, let's do yours next. <laughs> <laughs> the cookie monster. That's brilliant. Well, in that case, we'll have to use the blue piping bag for the base. And for the eyes, we'll use the chocolate balls again. This time, they need to be sort of wild. <laughs> and for the mouth... If this is supposed to be the cookie monster, then his face ought to be stuffed with biscuits. <laughs> Done! They look so pretty that it's almost a pity to eat them. <laughs> oh, wait! Don't eat them yet. We still have to make mine. Done! That's how you make a quick Mickey Mouse cupcake. <laughs> okay, now. Bon appétit! Oh, wow! Hi, Ruby! Hi, Kira! I was looking for Alex and Lily. I think they want to make a cake today. Oh, you're the chefs today! And what's the occasion? <laughs> you can tell me later. What do you say we make something quick and simple? Like a biscuit cake! I can see you love the idea! And what about you guys? What's your favourite cake? You can tell us in the comments and we'll see which one wins! There's something I haven't told you yet! This is a biscuit cake, but it also contains chocolate! Which is the first thing we're going to prepare! So we put the saucepan on the hob and we add a few ingredients a dash of milk a knob of butter to give it consistency and flavour and chocolate of course! Mm. We have to be very careful and make sure it doesn't burn We mix everything together thoroughly until the chocolate and butter melt and the chocolate is now ready! Now let's move on to the next step quickly! Have you been paying close attention? That wasn't very hard! And this next part is the most fun of all! Making the cake! First, we dunk the biscuits in the milk. And when they're thoroughly soaked, we place them on a platter. We have to cover the whole surface, like so. And now we pour the chocolate from before over them. See? And now we repeat the process to make a second layer. Check it out! Our cake is ready! But before we can eat it, we have to leave it in the fridge for a while so that the chocolate and biscuits harden. Don't worry, it won't take long! Oh, that's right! It's Max's birthday! You've been with us for a year! Time just flies by! <laughs> Happy birthday, Max! Hi, Alex! Hi, Lily! We haven't made any dessert in the kitchen lately. Do you fancy McFlurry ice cream? And what toppings would you like? There are so many different possibilities. <laughs> Great, Alex. An Oreo cookie McFlurry for Alex and for you, Lily. That's such a good idea. An M&M McFlurry for you. Hey guys, can you think of any other desserts we could make with Alex and Lily? You can tell us in the comments and we'll get right on it! Go put on your chef outfit and I'll see you in the kitchen! Yay! Everything is ready! A McFlurry is a vanilla ice cream, so in order to make it, we need the bowl to be cool! Here it is, in the fridge! First, we have to make the ice cream, which will be the base of our dessert. Let's add the ingredients. First, we add the whipping cream. There, this
this will be enough. And now we have to beat it. We have to whisk it really fast so that it's really creamy. Mmm, it looks amazing! Now, in order to make it sweeter, we add some condensed milk. Perfect! Now we add a touch of vanilla flavouring, which is the secret ingredient. <laughs> and lastly, we blend it together so as to achieve a soft and thick texture. There! Now we have to let it cool, because it's ice cream after all. <laughs> so let's put it in the fridge. And we move on to the next step while we leave the ice cream to cool down. Let's grab a few Oreo cookies for Alex. And we crush them so that we can mix them together with the ice cream later on. Here we go! And now we grab some colored sweets for Lily. And we follow the same process as before. We use the pestle to crush the M&Ms. Great! We're done! Now let's check and see if our ice cream is cold. It's just perfect! Now we have to mix in the selected toppings. <laughs> the selected toppings are the cookie and sweet bits we prepared earlier, Alex. We put the ice cream in the cup. And we add the Oreo cookies. There! Now we have to do the same thing for Lily's McFlurry. First, we add the ice cream. And now the M&M's. Perfect! Let's add a touch of colour. <laughs> so cool! Do you like it, Lily? What is it, Alex? Do you also want sweets? Oh, you want to squirt some syrup on top. There! Do you want to try them? Mm, yummy! Isn't it? It's a really simple recipe, so we can repeat it anytime you like! <laughs> If you had fun with this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel. And join our great Toon Toon Games family.